It is about 559 to 545 BC in the land of Nephi. The prophet Nephi and his brother Jacob worry about the people's faith. Jacob teaches about resurrection and salvation through the atonement of Jesus Christ. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. anxiety for our people. I am desirous for the welfare of their souls. Teach them the words of Isaiah. And speak unto them for their sakes. The Lord has shown me that those who were at Jerusalem from whence we came have been slain and carried away captive. Nevertheless, the Lord has shown unto me that they should return again and he will be merciful unto them, that when they shall come to the knowledge of their Redeemer, they shall be gathered together again to the lands of their inheritance. And there are many things which have been spoken by Isaiah, which may be likened unto you, because ye are of the house of Israel. For the Lord God will fulfill his covenants, which he has made unto his children. And for this cause, the prophet has written these things. I have read these things, that ye might know that he has covenanted with all the house of Israel. I know that ye know that our flesh must waste away and die. Nevertheless, in our bodies we shall see God. I do not understand. How can our flesh waste away and die, but in our bodies we shall see God? As death hath passed upon all men, there must needs be a power of resurrection. And the resurrection must needs come unto man by reason of the fall. And the fall came by reason of transgression. And because man became fallen, they were cut off from the presence of the Lord. Wherefore, there must needs be an infinite atonement Oh, the wisdom of God, his mercy and grace. For behold, if the flesh should rise no more, our spirits must become subject to that angel who fell from before the presence of the eternal God and became the devil to rise no more. Oh, how great the goodness of our God, who prepareth a way for our escape. Wherefore, death and hell must deliver up their dead and hell must deliver up its captive spirits. And the grave must deliver up its captive bodies. And the bodies and the spirits of men will be restored one to the other. And it is by the power of the resurrection of the Holy One of Israel. He cometh into the world that he may save all men, if they will hearken unto his voice. For behold, he suffered the pains of all men, yea, the pains of every living creature, both men, women, and children. And he suffereth this, that the resurrection might pass upon all men, that all might stand before him at the great and judgment day. And he commandeth all men that they must repent and be baptized in his name, having perfect faith in the Holy One of Israel, or they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God. Woe unto all those who die in their sins, for they shall return to God and behold his face and remain in their sins. Remember, to be carnally minded is death, and to be spiritually minded is life eternal. I would speak unto you more, but on the morrow, I will declare unto you the remainder of my words. Amen. Amen. Amen.
must needs be expedient that Christ or in the last night the angels spake unto me that this should be his name shall come among the Jews but they at Jerusalem will stiffen their necks against him that he be crucified but behold thus saith the Lord God when the day cometh that they shall believe in me that I am Christ then have I covenanted with their fathers that they shall be restored in the flesh upon the earth unto the lands of their inheritance. Seeing that our merciful God has given us so great knowledge concerning these things, let us remember him and lay aside our sins and not hang down our heads, for we are not cast off. Nevertheless, we have been driven out of the land of our inheritance, but we have been led to a better land. For the Lord has made the sea our path, and we are upon an isle of the sea. Cheer up your hearts, and remember that ye are free to act for yourselves, to choose the way of everlasting death or the way of eternal life. Reconcile yourselves to the will of God and not to the will of the devil and the flesh. And remember, after ye are reconciled unto God, that it is only in and through the grace of God that ye are saved. Wherefore, may God raise you from death by the power of the resurrection and also from everlasting death by the power of the atonement, that ye may be received into the eternal kingdom of God that ye may praise him through grace divine. Amen. Amen. Amen.